the border of Belize and Honduras. Yeah. Okay. And the plane we picked out, Paulpa's George picking it out, run this by George, was the really used, beat up 206, Cessna 206. There were two planes available, a beat up 206 or a brand spanking through 172, of which I already had one up here. And it had the engine had a problem. Paul comes back for Christmas. Krieger goes down for Christmas to spend Christmas with George. They go out, they're going to fly out the Bay Islands. George picks the airplane. He didn't pick the junkie old 206. He picked the brand spanking new 172 with an H block engine. You can look that up on the web. That had oil problems. So they go out and they're messing around anyway. The guy starts losing power on the engine. Mm -hmm. And he, so he decides he's going to land in this island. He tilts the wing over to come back into the island because he missed it the first go around. Oh, wow. Puts it in the water, spins, plane goes down, in the water floats. George is in the back seat with the cooler. It's an important aspect of it. On the way down, the pilot, who was a young kid, I understand, because I went had already opened the door and that's typically in a small plane when you go down due to the way the sheet metal is made you saw to open the door and you shelf up and down there because you don't want it to shear it well they didn't tell Jim Krieger to do so so Jim Krieger had his door shut so when they hit it jams his door so he can't open it the pilot opens the door and starts swimming out George grabs the cooler <laughs> no way <laughs> he did <laughs> he grabs the back belt you can run this by Georgie Back belt of the of the of the pilot as the pilot's swimming out because he's in the back seat grabs him like this with a cooler in the other hand. Everything comes out of the cooler. So now he's George is hanging. So the pilot's over. still transporting. Yeah, and the, <laughs> and the pilot starts swimming. So George grabs over the cooler as a life preserver and they're swimming towards the beach. Yeah. Hmm. You turn around and there's no Krieger. Well, Krieger is still in the airplane. Jim will vouch for this. So he's trying to kick the window out and I think eventually he either goes out the side door or kicks the window out and comes out under the wing of the plane as it's going down. Yeah, you're taking all so, water. See, yeah. So the plane's going down. So now Jim Krieger is trying to swim back. Now he's having a heart attack. No kidding. Yeah, he had a heart attack. Jim Krieger had a heart attack. Oh, wow. True. So George now, I think as they're getting up to the beach, turns around and realizes Jim's in trouble. So he gets the pilot who isn't about to leave dry land and tells him to get out there and get me finally through the pilot and I think the cooler get the Jim Krieger aboard uh, on the beach. That happened in the morning. The fun part was is now this is a desert this is a desert island or deserted island. Right, Nobody's right. there and there's now three dudes on it. You know. Yeah. I, I, this is before cell phones. So. Making rocks in the sand. <laughs> whatever. Help, whatever. Rescue, so here the fun part is, yeah. is they, they see a, a, either a sail or a boat's approach from a way far away. And they're giving it the old routine of where everybody is. And the boat sees them okay. in the afternoon. So the boat evidently either send somebody ashore or whatever else and they come up there to this thing and it's a I don't even know if it's a sailboat or a motor yacht whatever but they with all the drugs down there they don't know if these guys are drug dealers so they're saying well how did you get on the island well the airplane sank but there's no airplane but there's no airplane see. <laughs> it's how did you get here well the airplane we were in sank sure right <laughs> that's what they said right yeah so they don't know if they're drug dealers or not so they oh, no. strip them <laughs> before they'll let them on the boat to take them to the shore. Okay. Sounds like a deal. While Rooney Income, George's first Thai wife, is with him. But she wasn't in the plane. She didn't go with him. She stayed in the hotel. True story. Because she had a vision that the plane was going to crash. Mm -mm. 
they're X number of miles, I think 90 miles away. Was she one of our fortune tellers back then? No, that was his wife. No, it was, okay. no she was just well, George's wife. Okay. Thai wife. So, actually maker of the garlands at one time. So, now they're 90 miles apart, so they communicate with everything, and they have to send another airplane down to pick them up to get them back to the hotel. That happened. Wow. The one that the pilot was okay, George was okay. The one that had a heart attack. Yeah, Krieger. Krieger. We lived in, we had our house here, but we were in Jasper because it was Christmas. So we get a call from Jan, from Krieger's wife, D, saying, where's Jim? I understand there's been an airplane crash. So we immediately come back over here and start trying to put everything together. By this time, George is back here in the States. Right. Going, you wouldn't believe what happened to me. Right. True story. 